Answering questions, we take a look into the ongoing investigation in Boston. Plus some good news for mid-Missouri residents who were dealing with flooding this week. And a controversial corner why the community is debating what to do with one Columbia area. KOMUA News at 10 starts now. From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 10. Tonight, the people of Boston are returning to the way life was before this week's attacks. Good evening, I'm Nick Brennan. And I'm Elise Ogioni. Last night, police captured the second bombing suspect alive. Now, investigators are searching for a motive. NBC's Jay Gray has a closer look at the recovery the city's making and the latest on the investigation from Copley Square in Boston. Hundreds of police rushed in after a call from a homeowner who noticed something different about the boat in his backyard. It was a Massachusetts State Police chopper that first spotted Jahar Sanaev. And now we're getting our first look at thermal imaging from that chopper that confirmed the suspect was alive and hiding inside the boat. We're also learning more now about how the search for the most wanted man in America finally came to an end. Agents rushing in, engaged in a standoff for nearly 30 minutes as negotiators shouted to Sernayev to, quote, come out on your own terms. Minutes later, the 19-year-old bombing suspect was in custody. Today, he remains in serious condition in Boston's Beth Israel Hospital, where authorities say he could be charged with terrorism and murder and questioned by the FBI's elite high-value suspect interrogation team. The first questions the FBI will focus on are specific threats that he might be aware of. Likely, are there any other ex improvised explosive devices? Were there other people working in the network? As the investigation continues, Put these in your windows after the game. So does the push toward normalcy here. We just don't want those types of activities to run our lives. It's been said the beloved Red Sox are the heart of this city. And today, after Friday's game was canceled because of concerns about safety, 37,000 poured into Fenway Park to show the world they're Boston strong. We are one. We are Boston. We are strong. Support that filled the stands with victims, volunteers, and first responders on the field. A moment of silence followed by a very loud display of unity and determination. Boston strong, a clear sign the city is beginning to heal. Jay Gray, NBC News, Boston. Well, after a cool and sunny afternoon, we are starting to filter in a few mid-level clouds out across mid-Missouri right now. Those clouds are going to stick around with us for the overnight hours and throughout the day on your Sunday as well. Now, temperature-wise, we are starting to cool back down into those upper 40s, lower 50s around the area. We're 49 currently in Moberly and Boonville, 48 here in Columbia, 52 for both First Sales, Jefferson City, and Osage Beach. We're going to be sticking around those upper 40s to mid 40s here for the evening and overnight hours. We'll bottom out right around 43 degrees by sunrise tomorrow morning. Again, we do have clouds that are going to stick around with us for your Sunday, but we do have some warmer temperatures for the start of this next work week. We'll talk all about it coming up in just a little bit. All right, thanks, Tori. We're getting reports tonight of a condo that caught fire in Osage Beach. Here's a picture of the fire at the Lakewood condos on Jeffries Road in Osage Beach. The Mid-County Fire Protection District posted the picture on its Facebook page. We also have another picture from a viewer showing the fire. We will try and get you more details on the fire, and we will put them on our website at KOMU.com. We've been keeping you updated this week on the flooding that's been going, out, going on throughout Mid-Missouri. As of right now, MoDOT says the main Mid-Missouri roads that are still closed from flooding are Route V in Cooper County and Route H in Camden County. One of our reporters checked today to see if there was still flooding on Route ZZ in Boone County. This is the scene she found there. It's just one of many Mid-Missouri roads that have opened back up this weekend. After the Columbia City Council rejected a proposal to build a break time gas station at the southwest corner of Grindstone and Rock Quarry Road, the owner of the land is trying to decide his next move. KMU8's Rohan Shu shows us what could happen there. For those reasons, I'm going to vote against this result. Some residents are happy after the City Council turned down the break time project at Grindstone Parkway and Rock Quarry Road. But not everyone is celebrating. Disappointed, obviously. I mean, he would have liked to have seen this move forward, and now he has to move on to plan B or C or whatever. 
Some neighbors near the proposed site didn't like the project because of concerns for traffic and safety. According to the plan, a gas station and a convenience store could be just a few steps away from this residential house next to me, and the neighbors were concerned it could attract crime to the neighborhood. Well, that was kind of an interesting change, but. Although the landowner is still figuring out his next step, neighbors have some ideas of what they would like to see. Some people pretty much would like it to stay residential in a single family context. I have heard one or two people say they wouldn't mind a duplex or a small apartment building there. So do some city staff. City staff had recommended a few years ago that perhaps a bank or an office might be appropriate there. No matter what the city has in mind, the landowner will decide what Columbia could see at this corner. Rohan Shu, KOMU 8 News, Columbia. The city will allow the landowner to request something different within a year. However, he could request something similar, like another gas station, after only a year. How all the tragedies this week impacted the stock market. We'll have that story and more coming up next in our business report. And you're taking a live look over Columbia Regional Airport. It is 10.06 on your Saturday night. This is KMU 8 News at 10. Coverage you can count on. Never be surprised by the weather. Download the free KOMU8 weather app today. At Slumberland's truckload sale, get the lowest prices in town on Sealy mattresses, up to 60% off. Find a Sealy Queen mattress set for as low as $199. Hottest deals go first, so don't be last to Slumberland's truckload sale. Motor Trend asks people who aren't driving a Ford to take the EcoBoost Challenge. Ford Escape, with EcoBoost technology, took on Honda and Toyota. This is a lot of fun to drive. That's the EcoBoost. I feel the power behind the Escape. Woo! 33 miles per hour. That's crazy. That's more than my little car. I like the way the Escape drives better than the RAV4. Sorry, Honda. Step up your game. Now get 0 for 60 plus 500 challenge cash or up to 2,000 cash back on Escape. Visit your quality Ford dealers today. If you're involved in a personal injury claim, you may be hearing about different types of insurance, liability coverage, med pay, uninsured, underinsured, and umbrella policies. You may also hear of ERISA plans, Medicare and Medicaid liens, and subrogation of health insurance. Do these make sense to you? They do to us here at Ingen Woods, and it's crucial that you have an attorney with the experience and knowledge to guide you through these complex issues. If you're in this situation, then call us. Let Ingen Woods stand for you. April showers bring big Silverado savings. You could save over $10,500 on your next new Silverado, plus take advantage of the two-year, 24,000-mile Makash maintenance plan. Your Chevy Malibu has up to $5,000 in available discounts. Was $26,000, now only at Bob Makash, $21,000. Number one business loop and 24-7 at bobmakash.com. Chevrolet makes the car and truck. Bob Makash makes the difference. Some say I'm the third most interesting man in the world. And when I travel, <laughs> I mean, when we travel, we always use Moex. Moex, oh so convenient. They pick me up, <laughs> us, at home, at work, or parking or riding from the Moex office. Booking online is so easy. Moex is simply the best. We want you to ride Moex. Keep traveling, my friends. At Slumberland, our reclining sofas make a stressful day fade into the past as fast as you can recline and sigh with relief. This one's just $4.99. More reclining sofas at better prices. At Slumberland. Welcome back. National tragedies cause a roller coaster on the market. And a technology giant loses a big title. KMUH's Megan Johnson has your business headlines from this week. In your business news this week, there were a lot of jitters on Wall Street this week after the Boston bombings and later the search for the manhunt on the suspects. Uh, combined with worries about a slowdown in the global economy, the markets ended lower in a week of up and down trading. Mixed results so far this earnings season, especially from technology giants and the nation's biggest financial firms. Bank of America did more lending and saw profits quadruple, but it made less money from those loans. The Federal Reserve's so-called Beige Book survey of economic conditions around the U.S. showed moderate growth in all 12 of its banking regions over the last six weeks. With the overall economy getting 
a big boost from the housing recovery and strong auto sales. It's still a roller coaster ride where jobless claims are concerned as the number spiked last week. 352,000 Americans filed for unemployment benefits, on a, according to the latest report from the Labor Department. That number rose by about 4,000 from the previous week. Jobless claims spiked at the end of March to 388,000 and then plunged the first week of April to 348,000. Analysts say the fluctuation may be due to difficulties with seasonal adjustments related to the Easter holiday and spring breaks. The bumps in claims caused some concern following a disappointing monthly jobs report. Economists say it's crucial for claims to be in the 350,000 range to be consistent with moderate labor growth. And Apple lost its title as the most valuable company in the world to Exxon this week as share fell, shares fell below $400 for the first time in a year and a half. Officials hinted at a slowdown in iPhone and iPad production as the reason. The stock dipped about 5.1% and this latest decline comes in a, after a rough winter for Apple. The company's stock is down 42% from its all-time high of $705.07 a share. And that's your business news for this week. All right, thanks, Megan. It was an emotional day in Boston. As the Royals took on the Red Sox. We'll have highlights later in sports. We'll get you started. On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Get 0% APR financing for 36 months or up to a $1,250 instant rebate when you purchase a qualifying train heating and cooling system. Visit findatraindealer.com to find a participating independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. The Kobe Jack Pub Burger is a bold twist on our butter burger. We're really excited about this burger. Kobe Jack is a mild cheese and it has just the right amount of melt. That is good. I think it's a perfect fit for this burger. Seared Midwest beef, always fresh. It's got crispy onions on it. It's got steak sauce, four peppercorn mayo. We top it with your Kobe Jack cheese. All served on a zesty artisan bun. It's one layer of flavor after another. Welcome to Delicious. View local news, your first alert forecast, and local sports scores no matter where you are. Visit KOMU.com slash mobile to get KOMU 8 News on your mobile phone. When Panera began, we decided to get up every day and bake fresh bread from fresh dough. That decision made us wonder, what else could we do the right way? Could we make food that lives up to our bread? And could it be food you can trust with ingredients like antibiotic-free chicken? Could we come together as a community and help feed people in need? We already have. And every morning, we start again. Panera Bread. Live consciously. Eat deliciously. Your tools don't need to come in flashy colors. Your mower shouldn't either. Whether you roll it off the trailer or out of the garage, a grasshopper gives you the no excuses, get it done kind of attitude that drives your day. Grab the controls and get the power to tackle tough terrain with the speed to cut your mowing time in half. Trim, vacuum, mulch, and more. All from a driver's seat that's as comfortable as your favorite pair of faded jeans. The exclusive powerful deck even makes cleanup and storage a snap. So whether you're a pro or just want to mow like one, make your next mower a grasshopper mower. I want to rock! It's Broadway's biggest party, Rock of Ages. Featuring the greatest tunes of the 80s. Don't miss the five-time Tony-nominated musical that the New York Times calls Impossible to Resist. Don't miss Rock of Ages, Sunday, April 28th at 7 p.m. in Jesse Auditorium. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. Rock of Ages. Closed captioning of KOMU 8 News is brought to you by Missouri Cancer Associates, your comprehensive cancer care center. The First Alert Weather Cam is brought to you by your Heart of Missouri Chevy dealers. Now, your live Doppler 8 First Alert Weather. Welcome back. It's 10:13 here on your Saturday evening. We're taking a look at our current satellite and radar composite right now. We do have some high pressure that brought us those clear skies and sunshine throughout the entire day today. Kept us kind of mild out there. But overnight, this is going to shift to our east. And as this next system makes its way through our area, it is going to increase our mid-level clouds out there for the overnight hours and throughout the entire day 
on our Sunday as well. Now, if we take a look at this next weather maker, this low pressure system that's headed off to our north affecting Canada right now, that's going to move through the area Sunday night into Monday. That's going to bring us our next best chance for some showers and thunderstorms. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second. But temperature wise, we are all over the place. We're a little chilly up there in Chicago, only 36 degrees back into the upper 40s, lower 50s across mid Missouri. And then we're still hanging on to those 60s down and around Tulsa, but a little bit closer to home. We're checking out 49 right now in Moberly, 48 over in Mexico, 52 currently in Jefferson City and down at the lake. But at Columbia Regional Airport, they're checking in right at 48 degrees. Humidity is at 48% as well. And we have just a little bit of wind from the east at around 11 miles per hour. Those winds are going to pick up as we head into your overnight hours and throughout the day tomorrow as well. But overnight tonight, again, we'll just have mostly cloudy skies. It'll be a little bit mild out there for us, which are going to shift out of the southeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And we'll get to a low of around 43 degrees by the time we hit sunrise tomorrow on your Sunday. Now, if we take a closer look at precipcast, here's those clouds here for the overnight hours. We could see a few peaks of sunshine here for our late Sunday afternoon. And we could also see a really spotty shower here north of Highway 70 as we head into your Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening hours. But um, as we head in, to and throughout the day tomorrow, again, we'll just have mostly cloudy skies, but it is going to be a little bit warmer. We'll be back into those 60s. We should reach a high of around 64 degrees around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now, we do have those winds from the south at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Those are going to help filter in some warmer air for us tomorrow, but we are going to be pretty gusty at times around 25 miles per hour, especially in the afternoon hour. So keep that in mind as you head out the door tomorrow. Now, Monday, we are a little bit warmer as well. We'll get to high right around 66 degrees. We'll have a little bit of sunshine to start off our Monday morning, but as we head into your Monday afternoon hours and throughout the entire day on Tuesday. That's going to be our next best opportunity for some showers throughout the entire day. We could see a few thunderstorms in there as well. We're not looking at anything severe right now, but that cold front that gave us those showers is also going to bump our temperatures back down to 50 on Tuesday, 55 on Wednesday. I don't like those temperatures, but we should be back into the 60s by the time we hit next weekend. Sounds good. Thanks, Tori. Thank you. Well, the quarterback competition is starting to heat up as spring football comes to an end. We'll have highlights next in sports. But first, here are your lottery numbers. Good luck. Right now at Ashley Furniture Home Store, get up to 50 months no interest from the date of purchase. Recline with the push of a button with this power reclining leather sofa, love seat, cocktail table, and end table for just $65 a month. Ashley Furniture Home Store. High quality beef doesn't have to come with a high price. Introducing High V's new 100% natural Angus Reserve. The cuts are tender and the price is lean. We choose our beef knowing what will deliver the best flavor and most tenderness. It's 100% natural, hand-selected, pure quality beef. So now, going out for a great steak can be as simple as going out to your grill. Dinner out just became dinner in. Introducing the new revolutionary PowerFlex system. No measuring, mixing, or mess. Just fill the tank and lock and load to annihilate bugs and weeds indoors and out. It's one weapon that kills them all and makes everything else obsolete. Amdro. No mercy, no pests. Available at Home Depot and Walmart. Introducing the new revolutionary PowerFlex system. No measuring, mixing, or mess. Just fill the tank and lock and load to annihilate bugs and weeds indoors and out. It's one weapon that kills them all and makes everything else obsolete. Amdro. No mercy, no pests. Available at Home Depot and Walmart. Right now at Ashley Furniture Home Store, get up to 50 months no interest. Add rich tradition to your bedroom with this elegant bedroom set for just $66 per month. Get the queen panel bed, dresser, mirror, chest, and nightstand. Ashley Furniture Home Store. If you hurt your back doing yard work and the pain won't go away, consult Lordex Spine Center. Dr. Travis and Dr. Street are dedicated to easing your pain through spinal decompression therapy. Get the pain relief you need. Take your life back. Call Lordex Spine Center today. Even a mattress that looks good in the store could be sagging in a few months. So what to buy? Simple. The world's best. Serta. Where to buy it? America's Mattress. Now get a 32-inch flat-screen TV free with any Serta iComfort or iSeries. Want small monthly payments? At America's Mattress, there's free financing for 24 months. 
Conserta for Less, a free TV, free financing, free delivery at your America's Mattress, Broadway Shops, Broadway and 63, Columbia. If you have chronic back or neck pain, don't choose medication or surgery until you consult Lordic Spine Center. Dr. Travis and Dr. Street are dedicated to easing your pain through spinal decompression therapy. Get the pain relief you need. Take your life back. Call Lordic Spine Center today. Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Hey everyone, the start of the fall football season is 133 days away. But spring football ended today with the black and gold game. The quarterback competition starting to heat up, and so are the turnovers on the offensive side of the ball. Who's going to be the starter? James Franklin? Will it be Matty Mock? Chase Daniel? Well, the Tiger fans can only wish. Second play of the game, Mock fumbles for Mizzou, and that would just be the start of a rough afternoon. Later, Corbin Berkstress are in at quarterback, and he gets picked off in the red zone. He threw two picks today, and Matty Mock... Well, he also threw two picks. Look at this interception. Take another look. Nice catch there on the pick. Again, Mock with two picks on the day. James Franklin, though, was a little bit better. Nothing too special here. Just a little dump off to the running back. But Russell Hansborough does the rest. 30 yards down the sideline. Gets inside the five. From there, Marcus Murphy is going to punch it in for the TD. And this tied the game at 14. Murphy had a big day. He goes for 18 yards here. Mizzou rushed for 157 yards on the day. DGB was the star for the receivers. A nice 35-yard catch and run here. He finished with three catches for 49 yards. The black team or the first team won 21-14. When you're switching quarterbacks and switching receivers and switching the people, where the continuity is going to suffer a little bit. But but still, you know, we we got. I think we had a making of a really good uh, offensive football team and defensive football team and. Constant getting depth ready to play, and, and we certainly got a, a certain a couple positions on each on both sides of the ball where it, it's you know it's still up in air. It's going to be very competitive. I felt we were a little sluggish today. I get the start of it, but uh, we just got to come out and get our tempo going like we know we can, and get moving like we know we can, so we can attack things because like we're a very dominant offense. The SEC is tough in football, but also pretty tough in baseball, with seven teams ranked at the top 25 Baseball America rankings. Florida not quite in the top 25, but they are 19th in the collegiate baseball rankings, so yet another tough team. Bottom first, Keaton Steele with the two-run bomb for the Tigers to put them up 2-0. Next inning, runners on the corners for Mizzou, and Logan Pearson singles to right. That extends the Tiger lead to 3-0, but the Gators would battle back and win 4-3 in 15 innings. The Mizzou softball team dropped the second game of three-game series to LSU tonight. Mizzou has now lost three of its past four games. LSU and Missouri will play the rubber match tomorrow at 1 o'clock in Baton Rouge. It's been an emotional week for the city of Boston. Nothing can completely heal the hearts and minds of its people, but at least for a couple hours, a baseball game brought the city of Boston together. Organist Josh Cantor will get you started. But you take it from there, as together, we lift our voices to new heights and sing the Star Spangled Banner. Kansas City and Boston on an emotional day. As you look at Boston starter, Clay Buchholz had himself quite the game. Top first, he strikes out Alex Gordon swinging, then Jeff Francoeur looking. He had six strikeouts in eight innings. Royal starter James Shields dealing as well. Third inning. Stephen Drew goes down looking, and later he's going to freeze David Ross. And in the seventh, some offense here as Salvador Perez at the plate for the Royals. And he hits one down the right field line. Look at this ball trickle around in the corner. Lorenzo Kane, the Kane train, is going to come around to score. Royals take a 2-1 lead with that triple. Former Mizzou Tiger Aaron Crow would come in in the seventh. But he hits Daniel Nava in the foot. But look at this. Salvador Perez, now showing off with his glove, is going to pick off Nava at second. Can't take a big lead against Perez as you take a look at this one again. Also a great tag by Escobar. But in the eighth, Boston in need of a hero. Down in the game, but Daniel Nava with a three-run home run, his fourth of the year. Boston leads 4-2 there, and they go on to win 4-3. The Cardinals, a modest 9-7 and seven on the season, but that's been good enough so far to lead the NL Central. The Cards are currently in the middle of a 10-game road trip. 2-2 two and two so far, having split the first two 
against the Phillies. Game three tonight, third inning, 0-0 ball game. Base is loaded for Craig, and Craig is going to deliver. Alan Craig with the clutch hit. Pete Cosma and Shane Robinson will score as the Cards take a lead. Very next batter, Yadier Molina. Singles to right. Matt Holiday will score 3-0 Redbirds, and they weren't done. As David Freeze also singles to right. Looks like a trend here. That brings home Craig, and just like that, it's 4-0 St. Louis. Meanwhile, on the mound, Lance Lynn was great. Seven scoreless innings, allowing just one hit and striking out eight batters. He got some more help from his offense in the form of Carlos Beltran. As Beltran belts a solo homer here in the fifth, his third home run in as many nights as the Cards win 5-0. to zero. Former Mizzou Tiger Nick Tepish pitched for the Texas Rangers tonight. Tepish struck out three of the first five batters he faced. But in the second inning, a line drive hit him near his right wrist and forearm, forearm area. Blood was visible on Tepish's right arm. He left the game with what the Rangers called a right wrist contusion. The Rangers will further evaluate him on Sunday at sports. All right, thank you, Common. A group of young athletes were all on board today for a fun event in Jefferson City. What brought all these skaters to the capital city? Coming up, you're watching KMU 8 News at 10, coverage you can count on. Natural Grocers, bringing you affordable prices, great customer service, and no artificial additives. At Natural Grocers, we sell only natural and organic foods. Natural Grocers and Health Crusader, looking out for you. Inspired change at the 53rd Annual HBA Mid-Missouri Home and Lifestyle Expo, April 19th through 21st at the Central Missouri Event Center. Get inspired, get started. Visit with over 100 experts showcasing innovative products in kitchens, windows, home decorating, and more. Enjoy free seminars and show specials. Then join HBA of Columbia Builders showcasing their original designs with the return of the Spring Parade of Homes. Free admission for everyone in 2013. Visit ColumbiaHBA.com for more details. Welcome. Two students, please. There you go. Thank you. $19. At Commerce Bank, we work behind the scenes to help you manage your kids' spending. $18.50, popcorn and gummy doodles. Just load their My Spending prepaid Visa card with a set amount. Wow, this is serious. We'll send you a balance alert. He even bought her candy? Every time they use it. The My Spending card from Commerce Bank. No monthly fees, no surprises. I love this part. At Slumberland, we ask, what can your sofa do for you? Well, if it's a recliner, it can lift your tired feet off the ground and hold you in its big, comfortable hand after a long day. Now at Slumberland's Ultimate Reclining Sale, you'll save up to 55% on recliners of all kinds, sofas and chairs. Ask more of your sofa and get it for less at Slumberland's Ultimate Reclining Sale. Now get this Lazy Boy reclining sofa for just $8.99 at Slumberland. The 2013 Chevy Silverado 1500 has the best pickup coverage in America. With a new two-year, 24,000-mile scheduled maintenance program, a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, and a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, we've got you covered eight ways to Sunday. Come to think of it, Sunday too. Right now, Chevy truck owners can trade up to a Silverado All-Star Edition and get a total value of $8,500. See your Heart of Missouri Chevy dealer today. I'm Health Crusader, and every day I take my vitamin D. Vitamin D helps support a healthy immune system. Have you guys had your vitamin D today? Yes! Natural Grocers and Health Crusader, looking out for you! Welcome back. Dozens gathered today in the capital city for a skateboarding competition. Skaters of all levels competed, uh, competed against each other in the Nook's first ever competition. The Nook is a skate shop and tattoo parlor that opened two years ago in Jefferson City. Even kids as young as eight years old turned out to skateboard into first, second, or third place. And here's a quick recap of your weather. Tonight we're going to be sticking around those mid to upper 40s around the mid-Missouri viewing area under mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, those clouds are going to stick around with us. We'll get to a high a little bit warmer, right around 64 degrees. We'll have a little more sunshine and some warmer temperatures to start off our Monday. However, as that cold front moves through the area, it's going to bring us some showers and thunderstorms for Monday night heading into Tuesday and some colder temperatures for the middle part of our next work week. All right. 
Sounds good. And warmer temperatures are always a good thing. Right, right. right. 60s like for next see. weekend is fine. Right, after seeing all that rain. And you know, she's probably watching right now, but my sister is actually up in Boston, lives right next to Fenway Park. So to see all this good news coming out of Boston, you know, emotional as it was, but you know, yeah, so a happy big, for a big win for the Red Sox. Red Sox Nation has to be they happy rallying it. behind their baseball team. A home run in the eighth inning that won the game. So talk about drama. Oh, so good. Have a good yep. night, guys. Okay, hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, and uh, folks, uh, welcome back.